Hey everyone, this is Kevin Hooker with Ward Realty Services. Uh, Tom Jenkins with Mold Solutions stopped by the office the other day and did a video with me talking about how we get rid of odors, pet odors, cigarette smoke, uh, things like that, that uh, you m might encounter when you when you buy a new home, uh, and then how, how you can get rid of that so you can enjoy it. Uh, check out this video. I, I've been in homes where, you know, different smells were lingering around and, and, and you know, and it wasn't, wasn't a matter of Febreze, there wasn't enough Febreze in the world to get rid of it. I mean, it's not. So how do you, how do you treat for odors? Well, the same way. So it's ozone for odors and for mold. I, I went in treating odors and found out it was uh, ozone's also. Ozone okay. is the most powerful sterilant on the planet. In fact, hospitals are using it. To, it kills all bacteria. They're using it to treat not only uh, uh, mold, but MRSA as well. Okay. It's a super bug. But, but it does a great job on odor. I'll give you an example. There was a, uh, um, I, I work with a lot of investors, and there was one, um, a teacher, and he had quit teaching, and I think he, 28 years old, had 20 properties so far. He's doing really well at it at a young age. And but he couldn't rip one of them out because of a cat here and over. And like you and I talked about when I first got here, that's the first thing you notice when you go to the mm -hmm. house. Yep. Some, like I had a showing just recently, we were talking about that, where a couple walked in and, and, and we, did, we didn't see a cat, but the wife instantly knew that there was a cat. And later on, we found, found the litter box, so we knew there was, there was a cat. Yeah. On the premises somewhere. Yeah. But she knew it immediately. And it that made, there's made, a cat here. I can smell it. Yeah. yeah. And, it made and, her, her, and it gave her a negative. It gave her a negative. It did. And then you totally, you know, biased her towards the house may have been a great house, you know, and, and a property that they were going to pass on just because of that odor. Yes. Yeah. And, and it either makes you want to come in or that's, I think that's why realtors sometimes bake cookies in the house. <laughs> sure. <laughs> they, but, but he couldn't, so he was losing rent every month on yeah. this. And so I went in and it, it took me four times, I was proud of this one, because it was a heavy cat urine smell. So treated with ozone for 12 hours, that didn't do it. Wow. Came in and laid and put down some enzymes right after that, that didn't do it. So went in and treated for 24 hours with ozone, that did it. But the ozone is a powerful sterile and it also kills enzymes. So I put down enzymes after that so that they could continue to work. But he did his walk through and called me and said, well, the smell's gone. And I think he had it rented out the same day. So like you and I said, yeah. I think it's always a good idea before it goes on the market yeah. rather than to get the feedback. Yeah, because by then you've, you have probably lost the client. They're not gonna buy. And maybe that bad it, word of mouth. Yeah, so it's, yeah. It's better to do that. I, I was in a home, I told you, last summer, heavy cigarette smell, cigarette smoke, and, and it and it upset the buyers. They didn't like that. And treat you treat for it the same way? Using ozone? Yeah, or? same thing. Smoke right. is maybe a little bit easier to treat for okay. than, than uh, animal um, smells. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, same way. So what I do, the ozone, just while we're on that, let me just yeah. hit the difference. So you can treat with chemicals, which I use both on, on odors, but or for mold, you can treat with chemicals, or um, you can treat, treat with chemicals or a gas. Okay. So mold and odors, they're both systemic, which means if it's one place, it's every place. Mm -hmm. So uh, chemicals, in, the science is right now that if you're not treating with ozone, you're not killing mold. Why? Because of what uh, the fancy term for it's 3D interfacing, like this table that we're sitting at. It seems smooth, but it's not. If you put a microscope on it, it looks like the Grand Canyon. Right. Well, if you lay that chemicals on that, it, it, they, they just sit on the surface. They don't penetrate. Well, a gas is just like a liquid. It goes in everything. So a lot of the odors and a lot of the mold are where you don't see them. In the ductwork, in the vents, on the coils, both inside and outside. So mold... Uh, uh, ozone will get to that and okay. it will it will kill it so two ways to treat either chemicals or you can treat with a gas again 3d interfacing the the, the, the ozone gets down into the everything mm -hmm. so and there's a difference on pricing too I mean okay. well like we talked about before you know I've been doing it for 16 years I'm certified insured but I've been around and I know the pricing 
it tends to run from uh, for mold remediation anywhere from $2,500 to $25,000 a mile. Why do people pay that much? Well, I saw you drive up in your Mercedes Benz. <laughs> I'm driving a Subaru. But in either case, we go into the mechanic and we hope they're going to tell us the right thing. I always feel like I pay too much when I go to the mechanic. Mm -hmm. Because I don't know. Right. And people don't know, and people think there's a lot of fear involved with the mold situation when you mention the word mold. But that's why I like to educate and inform. I don't want somebody to have that feeling about mold that I have about my car. Right. I want them to, I want to arm them so that nobody can take advantage of it. And I think that's something everybody can relate to. We've been in that situation where we don't know what they're telling us is right or wrong. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And, and really, hospitals are using the, the gas is the proper way to treat it. Okay. So a lot of people, you know, a lot of remediation companies will come in with the scrubbers, mm -hmm. HEPA filters, UV lighting systems. Um, all those are fine and good, but they don't do anything to kill mold. And they'll talk about building containment walls and people, and they'll come in with hazmat suits and, and, and you get everybody scared. And then people will pay, oh man, it is 25,000. That sounds like a bargain now. Well, <laughs> like I said, I work with a consulting engineer. I said, why do people do that? Yeah. Or why do companies do that when they don't do any good? And he said, makes for a nice project. Yeah. It's a psychological effect. It is. Yeah. And you're able to charge. Now, once you use once you use ozone or any of your evergreens, when I go back into the home, do I need to wash anything? Is it is it safe? Well, that's a great point. Let, let me drill down on that for just a second. You know, just in case we're talking about a home uh, where the occupant is still living there. Uh, you know, a lot of times folks have moved out, or it's a situation where they have it on the market and their possessions are still there, and then they're going to sell and then move out, and someone new is going to move in so at, at least half the time that i treat their occupants are living there. okay and so and that's a great point i'm glad you brought that up because chemicals i'm really health conscious mm -hmm. i eat clean and the same thing about chemicals i'm leery about chemicals that right. i put in and around my body and if it, my my thought is that if it's killing the mold it's got to be doing something to you mm -hmm. and so ozone does the same thing it kills but ozone is what you smell when you walk outside after a thunderstorm. It's what you smell when you go to the beach. It smells good. It has a psychological effect. Mm -hmm. To me, it smells good. But when you generate it at the level that I do, it starts to kill things. Okay. Like you can't have any pets, people, or plants for a period of time. However, once that, what, the, the, what we're breathing right now is O2, two oxygen molecules. Mm -hmm. I use a coronal discharge that attracts a third oxygen molecule, which now you go from O2 to O3, which is ozone. Okay. Uh, the most powerful sterile in the world. But um, it generates it uh, to the point where it kills things only during the time that the equipment's running. And now that third oxygen molecule can only hang on while the equipment's running. I've been in it and I'm mm -hmm. in a house when I turn the equipment off and the meter falls right away. Okay. So in other words, there is no harmful um, chemical residue. As far as food, mm -hmm. it only kills, it just makes it cleaner. It just kills all bacteria, including E. coli. So if they've got any contamination on their food, they'll wipe that out. But you can't have your little goldfish there. You can't have your, your little dogs and cats there. Mm -hmm. But after an hour, you can come back in. Okay. And there's no nothing, it's all natural. Yeah. But it's the most effective yeah. thing. Yeah. So you just need the house for a period of time, maybe, what, 12, 24 hours? Yeah, up to Something 24 like hours. Yeah. If it's a, you know, like the one right now, I'm training for odors, 24 hours. Okay. Yeah. But usually around 12. Yeah. So is there, I think we've covered everything. Is my, there anything else? My cost, well, I did go over the cost. You know, twenty five hundred to twenty five thousand. I think a fair price when I educate people and I'm using the best technology out there to kill. And I have for the last sixteen years. Um, I'm not a violent person. The only thing I kill is mold. Mm -hmm. And but my price is nine ninety five. It's under a thousand dollars, and it does come with a one year from data service warranty. It's transferable, and buyers okay. like to see that closing yeah. table. They don't want problems. It just means right. that. If they have a mold issue in the future, I'm going to come back and I'm not going to charge them for it. That's great. Yeah. That is, that's great. Yeah. I call my office. I like again. I do free inspections. I don't charge anything for that. And, you know, I, I work with the client if they want. Like I treated one yesterday, just real quickly. And um, so I treated the upstairs. I had to murk out some drywall before I mm -hmm. came in. I'm dealing with the property manager now. 
I had them rip out the drywall because you want to expose everything. And a lot of people will just come, uh, just some common sense stuff, really common things that I see. People will come in and hit it with bleach. Okay. That's very common. Yeah. And it looks like it goes away, but I, I, part of the educational process, mold is a fungus, fungus is water activated, bleach is 90% water. So it looks like it goes away, but then it comes back twice as bad. We talked about humidity, mm -hmm. maybe one more. We, we talked, so, um, so really they made it worse. The only way to do it is to kill it, and then you can wipe it down with bleach. My preferred method is um, hydrogen or peroxide. Oh. A third peroxide, two thirds water, depending on the strength of the peroxide. Mm -hmm. And then, it, or you can kill the bleach, whichever you want to use, but then it will stay away. Yeah. Um, now, the other thing we talked about UV lights, HEPA filters, scrubbers, mm -hmm. all those are fine and good to keep mold away, but the most, you know, and again, dealing with a consulting engineer, the most, the best, uh, the most powerful thing you can do is get a dehumidifier because. Really, you know, dew points when you have problems. When you mm -hmm. hit dew point, you're always going to hit dew point at some point. Right. That's when the water. The, that's when the uh, air condenses and it can't hold the water vapor anymore, and you get uh, condensation. You get mold. Well, that's kind of hard to measure. Yeah. So, really, the rule of thumb for anybody who's interested out there: sixty percent humidity seems to be the rule of thumb number. If you're above sixty percent humidity then you're going to have more issues than if you're below 60%. Okay. The farther below, like in my basement, I run a dehumidifier 24-7. Mm -hmm. It's a $229 Toshiba 50, 50 pint that I got at Home Depot for $229. If I don't run it, my humidity will be over 60%. If I run it within 20 minutes, I'm down to 32%. Yeah. This is the difference between having mold and not, and it's a cheap. Yeah. common sense solution right yeah so again i don't mind getting repeat business but i don't want it because i didn't uh, do my job right right yeah yeah understand well folks i hope this helps you uh, with any questions you might have about mold or odors how they're dealt with how they can get rid of them um, and i hope you'll give tom a call at mold solutions if you run into that um this what's your number tom um 502 224 2073 that's 502 224 2073 if you've got an issue you want me to come out um don't charge anything give advice okay great and again i'm kevin hooker with board realty services um, give me a call if you're looking for a home or if you have one you want to sell uh, give me a call as well uh, it's 502-396-4969 we thank you for your time